Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered, and Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny. Yagami-san, why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I figured they'd come knocking sooner or later. Then you knew Mikoshipa-kun was murdered, didn't you? And that's why you've been snooping around our school. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? If you knew Mikoshiba was murdered, why didn't you tell me up front? Because that information's not public. Didn't the police ask you to keep quiet about it? Well, yes, but even so... What sort of questions were they asking you anyway? I thought I was supposed to keep quiet. Cute. Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Please, stay off our campus. You don't belong here. I mean, what if you end up injuring a student? It would be a nightmare for all of us. Nobody's getting injured. All that's water under the bridge now. Is that so? Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Miko Shibakun. That he's no longer a missing person. That he's dead. And was dumped in a derelict building. My condolences. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Yeah, sounds like an interrogation, all right. <sighs> Is there anything else? Actually, there is. I'd like to know your thoughts on Miko Shibakun's killer. What? For example, take Akihiro Ehara, a man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Miko Shiba came up even then, as a culprit bearing some responsibility for that. Ehara-san? But he got arrested for that groping incident at the train station. So the police really are keeping their lips sealed. Must you always be so cryptic? It's possible Ehara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. This was before the Kanagawa police had even ID'd the body. Then... was it really Ehara-san? A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get, but he could be connected somehow. How do you know all this, Yagami-san? I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards, so now it's your turn. Uh, huh? I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Mikoshiba as you led me to believe. That true? <sighs> this again. You knew he was a bully all along, 
but yesterday you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get the story straight here. <sighs> Did you have a sudden change of heart, or were you lying to me for some reason? It's not that simple. Oh, one more thing I learned today. It was Miko Shiba who turned the basketball club against Kodosan. Pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher, don't you think? That's enough. Then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago? And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on, right? This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. His name was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ahara's son, like he's just another statistic. He had a name for heaven's sake. Toshiro. Right. I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have papers to grade. Sawa-sensei, please! Nine o'clock tonight. I'll be at Plage on Izazaki Road. We'll finally have a real talk? Something like that. Kaito-san, so I just left the school and tonight I'm... Wait, where are you? <laughs> Third stop of our bar crawl, that's where. I thought work was done for the night. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had to get back to the office to take care of some kind of system trouble. A computer crash or something? I don't know. Something about a buzzy searcher going haywire. I pretty much tuned it out, man. Anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. I'm meeting Sawa-sensei in a bit. You what? God damn it, man! You are killing me today! Would you simmer down? This is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we headed? Come on, you think I need a drunk co-pilot? Knock one back for me, though. Hey. I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Tak. Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating. If not perplexing. Yeah. And its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So I was right before. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully and promptly took Serio to court. 
But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. I thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Oh yeah, that was a real trip. You pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped-up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. So my AI constantly combs through Chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then it extracts only the trouble-related chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? That's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> you sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. And that should do it. Here you are. Okay, let's see here. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm, this is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do it all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. How do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning, it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. That is, until we all become cyborgs. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, You've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. How about this one? I can smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Then let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. A sound collector, huh? I could use this to pick up cries for help, or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Excuse me. Please. Excuse me. Geogamy. Yep. <laughs> By the way. <gasps> hmm? Aw. Oh. Huh? 
Suspicious. I see. Please.
Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. I handled the problem and name-dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome! Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. I know this is a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. So if you ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. Stereo High School, Class 2 2. Yes? Um, sir? Take a break. Uh -huh. You guys don't say much, do you? After this is over, you better start talking. Time to tell me what you know!
Really? Just now? You want to keep going? Yo. Need a hand with these guys? Huh? Good job holding them back on your own. Dude! You're not the only hero here. Uh, uh, I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching from inside, man. Okay. You shouldn't get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's hey, done. Hey, hold on! Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you. I'm a better fighter than this guy. Huh? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Thanks for making them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. Um, can I help you? I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Sensei. Are you okay? Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can say. I can't tell you anything you don't already know. Uh, what happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. The whole Mikoshiba-kun case. And then she said that you need to do the same. Me too? Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no... Then she told me I should give you this picture. This is Miko Shiba. I'm so sorry, but I... I'm leaving. Wait! I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop! I don't want anything to do with this! If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. Suspicious. What the? Hey. Suspicious. What the? Still so many unanswered questions. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Liomang. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? Pretty much. 
Well, anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town. But you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? Mm, I've got a hunch. But I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tight wad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? A handyman? It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective in Comro, Joe. What is it now? Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name, and then you say, Sorry, Kuwana, I made a bit of a ruckus here. Exactly how high up the food chain is a handyman in this town? I'm just trying to teach you some manners. People let you teach manners around here? You can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Don't let me down now. Now that's fancy. How's this? Hey, what else you got? Better than I was expecting. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you want to tone it down, or you want another lesson? I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. Sugira-kun? You know each other? After we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. Seriously? How do a couple of grown-ass men end up bickering like that? I was just finishing what he started. Yeah, and you can thank Sugihira-kun here that you're still standing. How do you even know this guy? Uh, Kawana-san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. He's got tons of connections both above and below ground. So, definitely a higher tier of service than us. <laughs> Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. Bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugira-kun knows his manners. Settle down. So, talk. who were those idiots back there? Kawana-san says they're a gang, the Yokohama Lyuma. Specifically, 
Liumang assassins called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah, they just didn't know who they crossed. Hold up, assassins? Why would someone put a hit out on Yagni-san? Maybe they were just out to scare you. I mean, I doubt even the Liumang would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds. Whatever the case, can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead. No can do. Even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Good news is, you can hire them yourself, too. Want me to hit them up for you? No thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man oh man. What kind of shit did you step in? If you're gonna make a mess in this town, I want in. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. What is? Having someone around who knows the ins and outs of Ijinsho, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white masks? He didn't save my ass. Oh, pull the stick out, buddy. I can tell he's cool. Yo, wanna grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on. But I'm getting round two. <laughs> See? I knew you were half bad. Wait, show me now, do you? You coming with, Tuck? Nah, not tonight. I'm heading back to the agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss, as they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Except maybe a little more fancy. <laughs> it's like we're already old friends.
Yep. I see. Yep.
It's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa-sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's got to be linked to Hiromika Shiba's murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara. But I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Liomong to attack you at that restaurant. If they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ihara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Sawa-sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do about it. Don't worry. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. <laughs> You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in Ijin Cho had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikashiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned upside down. <laughs>